top of the morning folks today is march the 2nd 2020 and we are waking up and uh having a project today today's project is going to be uh, some beams that uh a buddy of mine asked me to uh come and do so that's what we're going to be doing today just had a quick stop at the lumber yard to get some stain because there's a good stain here that they liked so I just picked that up right now head to Home Depot times about 651 gotta pick up some supplies pick up my workers and we are on our way to a beautiful morning and a beautiful day so um, hopefully uh, this project turns out pretty well. I have a good idea of what I want it to look like, but um, it's really up to how we use this material because this material is a 20 foot flex beam. So uh, first time working with it, but it shouldn't be too hard. It's just gonna be a little wiggle room just to install it. But first thing is first, we're gonna go in there and uh, we're gonna stain it, receive it, stain it, come back tomorrow and do the install. But today, we're gonna just have all the beams up, like uh, support beams, which is the two by fours I'm gonna put up there, put it all together, and then we'll go from there. So you guys will see. Let's have a good day, folks. Let's go. Yo! I'm right now, it's 9.47, and I just got to the project right now. Let's take a look at how it looks like and where we're gonna start and how we're going to attack this project. Okay, so first thing I want to do is cover all the flooring. After that, bring in all the tools and then we'll attack these wood beams right up here. We're going to find out four, one, two, three, four areas to put it. So, putting the scaffold in, making it happen. Yay! All right, let's take a look at the project. First things first, protect the floor. All this is good, ready to go do our measurements. Come out here, set up this area so we can stain 20 foot. Very good. So here she is, there's four of them in this. Okay, six. Yep, bin. Nice. All right, so we're opening her up. Let's take a look at what she looks like. Loading things. Bam! Alright. Nice. Alright, here it is. We got the beams. Alright, so this is a seven by five and a half. 20 foot of beams. We're gonna stain them. And we're gonna put it all up. Baby grand right there. Just one way. Careful right here, but uh, that's how she's looking. Ooh. Now we are making measurements so then we can figure out where do we want each beam to hit. So just figuring out like the ventilation, the lights, how we can evenly distribute. So every single area is not going to be the same measurement because from the wall to the TV area up there is gonna be a little bit shorter than the next band of um, area. And then it has that ventilation right there. And then another one goes through, but uh, just careful thinking, measuring everything out and just doing it twice as well, redoing it just to make sure at least it's straight and each side is going to be measured exactly the same from the right side and left, left side, and then you're gonna be okay. But just evenly distribute, and I would say like to trick the mind to see how things are. And then we're going to snap a chalk line. Once I think everything's good, that's what we're doing, and exactly how it's supposed right to be. Right now, we just hit chalk lines right now, seeing where we want to put this beam at. One. Two beams, I know I gotta do that because this has to be between here and that's what we're gonna have to be doing. And over here, gonna have to figure out this if I like it right there. So here we go, we measured it. Middle of everything. 
get that chalk line in tight at 70. Tight, tight, tight. Yep. Tight, Ooh. tight. You good? Okay. 70. Snap it. Okay. Here we go. So these. Right now, we're gonna put toggle bolts in every single piece, and then just bolt it up there, and it will stick on the drywall, just like that, toggle bolts. All right, so the time right now, it's about 1.30, and uh, we're, lit we're working in a new build area, so I had Postmates for Vietnamese food, but the guy got lost. So we ended up getting Taco Bell right here, which is convenient to the Home Depot because my toggle bolts that I bought was a little bit too short and I needed longer ones. So Home Depot is the best thing, best thing ever, for sure. Okay, so we got all of our anchors up there. Tomorrow, we'll be ready to hang everything up and just put everything where we need it to be. Right in the middle. We don't want everything. Compensate for all the lights that are gonna be jumping down this way, this way, and those lights. So I just evened everything out as much as possible. Uh, boom. Okay, so we're just gonna leave it like this right now. And the lights looks like they all fit in correctly right there. Okay, so just so you know. The client can still have tonight and chill. But we're just gonna leave this here for tomorrow. So we don't have to deal with that. Closing out. Okay, so now we're gonna go back outside and finish up the staining. All right, so the beginning of the day, we have decided we wanna take this color. So we're gonna do it twice. Get a little darker to make that wood looking color. So starting the day off with staining today, we have four beams that we got to stain twice just to get the color correct. And it looks like when you apply it on, it's pretty dark, but once you wipe it, then it gets to a better color. After that, I want to darken it as well. And that's what the client wants. All right, so we're working on our second coat right now. Right here, it's just going to be wiped off. Look like something like this. We got these two right here that are ready to go as well. So we're trying to blend it in as much as possible, even though it's different pieces. But uh, as it dries up, it's gonna start to look just like each other because we put enough stain on each of them. Wipes it down. It's a whole little process for sure. Right now, I'm just giving it an extra wipe so then all the stain is off. And then we can go on number two, which is happening right now. We're going to do it a little bit darker, getting that natural color out. Again, this is called Baby Grand. And um, it is a very beautiful stain color. And this is what we're doing with two coats, four beams and just going at it. And these things are, the fumes is very strong. So do it in the garage or outside, but not direct sunlight. This is basically what you gotta do. Apply, wipe, dry, apply, wipe, dry. All right, so here it is. We just got completed with two coats of the stain. And we gotta wait a few hours. So we're gonna have to jump back tomorrow to finish this off but so waiting for the heel it's raining today so got to uh figure this out hey somebody gotta wipe this right here right there huh? wipe that this right here right there all right so uh we'll just come back tomorrow and then we can install once it's all dried up can't install it right now when it's not complete all right, first look at how these guys are healing up nicely. So we got overnight to cure, so 
gonna be too bad. The next step right now is to get all the beams up. So we gotta measure, measure twice, and cut once. So I'm doing the cutting right now. This is the first beam that's going in out of four. So you're gonna see how it fits. And I think the first one fits perfectly. First beam in. Right now we're putting in adhesive so it can stick up there all the way through. So we're up here making this happen. It's looking very, very nice. Adhesive to glue and then we'll put on this side too. So it can stick on two by fours. And now we're on to the second beam and I think this one is going to be a little bit easier because we started getting the rhythm of it, putting it up and now dry fitting it and now we're going to wet fit it, get the glue on and now screw it in and buff it. As you can see, there's some wiggle room that can go up and down. So this material, is, it flexes. So these beam flexes. Very good. All right, so it's about 1215 and we got three of these beams up, perfect. And this one had a little problem, but we switched it around and now it's just beautiful, fits in perfectly. And on this side, so you just probably just gotta flip it around and then it turned out all right over here too. So, get it done, get done. I'm glad that these came out pretty nice. It's really, really nice actually onwards towards the third beam and right here what i'm demonstrating is how i cut i could have used a circular saw but what i opt to do is just do a hand saw and cut it straight in the middle first a good line flip it over cut continue with that line so we can just continue cutting it straight flip it all the other side and cutting it as well so i think this is the best method that i have watched and i did a lot of research on it before i did this project so i just opt to do the hand saw because you can have more control of it of cutting all three sides perfectly how you want it to fit so i think um it was a good plan to do and uh that's what happened all right, so last but not least is the fourth beam. However, the last one is always difficult because we had problems with the two by four falling down because the toggle bolts didn't happen. So we had to take some time, do that, and now flipping it around and doing everything like that. So finally, it got done. And now they're all up and now we can break everything down, clean it all out, get all the tools out, clean where we have to clean because um, some parts were like scratched up. So just making it perfect for the customer. And I think they really, really enjoyed it, how it looks.